Now let's talk about the common types of HPLC pumps used these days. There are two common types. The first one is the binary and the second one is the quaternary pumps. Let's start with the binary pump. As we can see in the design of this binary pump, there are two independent pumps. So we can assume it can only deliver two solvents at a time and the solvents are mixed in the mixing chamber before being injected into the coolant. We can consider this design as a high pressure environment and the flow rate of the two pumps will control the ratio of the solvents delivered into the coolant. And this is a complete design of the binary pump where we can notice a dual piston pump for solvent A and another dual piston pump for solvent B. And the flow rate of each pump will control the ratio of the two solvents. To understand how the binary pump controls the ratio of the two solvents, let's increase the ratio of solvent A into 80% so we can notice that pump 1 speed is much higher than pump 2 to deliver that ratio while in the reverse situation pump 2 speed is much higher than pump 1 to deliver the new ratio if we need 100% of solvent A so pump 1 will deliver solvent A while pump 2 will stop altogether delivering 100% solvent A. Now let's see the actual binary pump inside the system. We can see the two pump units, the right one labeled the channel B and the left one labeled the channel A and each channel for a single solvent. The second type of HPLC pumps is the quaternary pumps. This is a simple design for the quaternary pump. As we can see, there is only one pump unit and it can deliver up to four solvents at each time. And it can be considered a low pressure environment and the proportionating valve will control the ratio of the solvents to be delivered into the column and the solvents are mixed in the mixing chamber before reaching the pump. And this is a complete design of the quaternary pump. As you can see, there is only one dual piston pump and the mixing chamber contains a proportionating valve. We can see one valve for each solvent which controls the ratio of the solvents reaching the column. To understand how the proportionating valve will control the solvent ratio, let's assume a 50% of solvent A and B. We can see the two arms of the proportionating valve moving with the same speed and the total solvent is purple. Now, if we change into 80% of solvent A, you can see that the red arm of the proportionating valve will increase in speed and the total solvent is red in color while in case of 80% solvent B the blue arm speed will increase and the total solvent is blue. Now let's see a quaternary pump in actual HPLC instrument. We can see the unit pump at the left and the mixing chamber at the right. In the mixing chamber we can see the four ports for the solvents and the port coming out from the chamber delivering the mixture of the solvents into the pump unit.